Hi everyone, this is George Kinkov and I'm an amateur astrophotographer. In this video I'll show you how easy it is to set up and control an imaging rig that has a proper cable management. I'm gonna show you how everything works and we'll do some astrophotography tonight. It is Monday night of May 30th and we have a few weeks till the galaxy season is over. During the spring season, amateur astrophotographers have many targets to shoot. There are dozens of galaxies in different constellations like Ursa Major, Leo, Coma Berenices and many groups of galaxies in Virgo. During almost a year I've been using my small Skywatcher 80D telescope to capture different deep sky objects. And as I showed in my previous video, i done some cable management that helps me a lot while I set up my telescope and run imaging sessions. Let's start from the beginning when I set it up. I believe many amateur astrophotographers begin their imaging session by setting up a mount and uh, this routine is the same for me, but when it comes to mounting a telescope and all the accessories, uh, I believe many of us spend some extra time doing this. I used to connect each power and USB cord and do heater separately, checking that all of them connected nicely and wouldn't catch anything. It used to take a lot of time over the course of a year, let's say, considering the fact that I did this routine every time I was setting up. Now I have a kind of plug and play setup. Everything I need is already attached to a telescope that I mount on my Skywatcher HUQ5 Pro. And all I need to do then is connect uh, just two cords to the mount and connect the power cord to Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. Of course, I still need to do a polar alignment. I gotta check that the telescope is balanced well and the focus looks good. But these actions don't really take a lot of time, so it's technically fine. The target I'm shooting tonight is located in the constellation Virgo and it's called Mercarian's Chain. Although I say target, Mercarian's Chain is actually a chain of galaxies that form the group by their common motion in space. There are at least seven physically related members of this group and we are going to look at them later in this video. Alright, so I'm about to begin my imaging session and uh, right now the telescope is pointing to Arcturus star. I just checked my focus using a button of mask and by the way on the screen there is astrophotography tool app uh, that I use to run my imaging sessions. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I have a mini PC that is placed on the top of the telescope and this PC controls everything. I have two apps that I use for remote control of this PC. Uh, there is TeamViewer app or native Windows software. Alright, I just started my imaging session and uh, the telescope is pointed to Mercurian's chain. Uh, let's look at the first exposure. Wow, just look how nice all the galaxies, uh, all of them located in the, in the camera field of view. And of course they don't have a big angular size uh, through my ADD telescope. But the fact that we can see all of them at the same time makes this picture unique. So the telescope will be capturing Mercurian's chain for the next couple of hours uh, till the target will be covered by the trees. And after that, I'll switch to a different target and continue capturing until the, basically until the sun is up. Uh, that is all I got for tonight. As you can see, I didn't spend a lot of time setting up all the equipment and I was able to begin the imaging session pretty fast. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions about the rig I'm using or the software. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a final picture of Mercurian's chain at the end of this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future videos. And uh, until then, clear skies.